In this video, we're going to go through chain base index numbers. So in this question, we've got the average price of houses bought by first time buyers over a period of five years. And they've given us the chain base index numbers for the average prices. All prices are given to the nearest 1000 pounds. So part A says, calculate the nearest whole number, the chain base index numbers for the years 2004 and 2005 and enter them in the table. Well, the formula for the chain base index number is the current price over the previous year price times by 100. So we can do that now to work out this question. So for 2004, the current price is 121 over the previous year price, which is 99, times that by 100. Get my calculator out and we can do 121 over 99 times that by 100, like so. And I'll get 122 to the nearest whole number. So that'll be 122. Then for 2005, it's going to be 129 divided by the previous year, which is 121, times by 100. So it'll be 129 over 121 times by 100. And that will give me 107 to the nearest whole number. So I get 107 here. I can write those values in, 122 and 107 in my table. Then it says for the years 2001 to 2005, write down the largest annual percentage increase. So in these questions, we're always comparing it to 100. So if you take 2001, 123 represents a 23% increase. 125 represents a 25% increase and so on. So if we look at all of these chain based index numbers, we can see that 125% is the highest amount. So it's increased by 25%, that's the highest increase. So that's going to be 25%. And then it says part C, calculate the geometric mean of the chain base index numbers for these five years. So what we do is we're going to say, because we've got five numbers, it's going to be the fifth root of all of our index numbers. So it's 123 times 125 times 116 times 122 times 107. And then we can get our calculator out. To get this, where the power button is, we press shift and the power button, and then we get the nth root. So in our case, it's going to be five because the fifth root, we've got five numbers. So it's 123 times 125 times 116 times 122 times 107. Press equals, and that will give me 118. And then part D says, what can you infer from your answer from part C? So we can say this represents an average price increase by 18%. Discuss the trend of the chain base index numbers. So we can see it's 123 to 125, 116, 122. So it goes, it goes up, then it goes down, then it goes up, then it comes down. So we call that a fluctuating trend. So that's known as a fluctuating trend. Okay, here's another question here. You can pause the video, give it a try, and when you're done, I will go through our work solution. Okay, welcome back. It says the table gives information about the monthly average price per litre in pence of diesel over a period of five months. The table 
gives them information about the chain base index numbers correct in one decimal place for this information. Calculate the chain base index numbers for August and September and write them in the table. Give each value correct to one decimal place. Well, we know the formula for this, the formula for the chain base index numbers, so chain base index number is going to be the current price divided by the previous year price previous year price times by 100. So if we look at August, we our current price is 111.2 divided by the previous month in our case. So it's going to be 112.7 times by 100. So that's going to be and that will give me the following 98.7 correct in one decimal place. So it's 98.7, so I can write 98.7 in my table. It's going to be 113.1 over 111.2 multiplied by 100. Get my calculator out. 113.1 over 111.2 times by 100. And that will give me 101.7. to work out the geometric mean of the four chain base index numbers we do the fourth root of 102.5 times 100.8 times 98.7 times 101.7 and that will give me so let's shift the power button four then you're going to do the following here, 102.5 times 100.8 times 98.7 times 101.7, close the brackets, and that would give me a value of 100.9, correct to one decimal place. And then it says to interpret your answer. So don't forget we're, we're comparing it to from 100%. So it's going to be what's the increase. So we can say the average rate of increase is 0.9% per month. 